You know what puzzles me? Puzzles! Of which I've tracked down a few today. Uh, we have this thing to start with, which is the Smart Egg Labyrinth puzzle. And then we've got these little matchbox puzzles, which I saw and thought were incredibly cute looking. They're actually little puzzles. They're just, they come in this little matchbox thing and that's it. And there's two of them. Actually, we'll do them first. We'll see what's inside those. We'll get to the Smart Egg. I'm, I'm building tension or something. Uh, let's have a look at this inside this. This one's apparently called the Bermuda Triangle matchbox puzzle. Uh, the actual the main puzzle, this is to try and get the fucking cell tip off without ripping the uh, the lovely looking little matchbox. Careful, careful, careful. Now, I will point something out. I am terrible at these puzzles, but I love them. But I am terrible at them. And when I see somebody solve them, I can never work out how they've done it. And they are wizards to me. But I love them. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Hang on. Is this... Oh, that's the answers. Is that the... Oh, no, that's... Oh, my God, it's more puzzles. There's more puzzles around the thing. Oh, Christ. Is there a way of solving this thing? The solution can be found somewhere else. Oh dear, what's the actual thing? Can you remove the ring? No. Oh no, I hate things like this. So you've got to get this ring off, and this ring is completely on. And there's a ball and a rope, so that we can pull that through there. Oh, seems like that'll be step one for me, and pull that through there, and then pull that through there. That's now going... I mean, the ring's got a hole in it, so I could actually just pull that off. But I think we're going to need to puzzle this a little more. Uh, so I want to get this bit... Oh, uh, God. <laughs> okay, shit, turn that back up so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, no, it's all gone wrong. I think a mystery video I had recently, or will be upcoming, I think, you know, I think I had it recently, was um, a guy who's taken 10 years to try and solve one of these puzzles and couldn't do it. So that ring has to come off of this string, which it is clearly 100% attached to because of that thing. So if we widen this, bring this over that, then that is now... That should invert that. Like that. Can that now go onto this bit of cloth? String there. Good. Okay, and then... <laughs> Have I got a fucking... I can never solve things like this! I will literally be sitting with this and fiddling with it for hours and hours and hours, and then at one point I'll just go, and it'll come off and I'll be like, what did I do? And I could never put it back on again. I love the idea of these little matchbox puzzles. This is, this is, this is a nifty gift. If anybody even needs to buy me a gift, which I don't think you should do, but if you ever need to buy me a gift, this will be a nifty one. How do you get that off there? I like the amount of... Just, there's a small gathering down here of, of rope. Little, bits, little fibers of rope are coming off now. I feel like that's on a different place to what it was used to be. I think I've done something. I don't know if it was a good thing. Maybe I should try and get that onto this one in some way. Because you've got to pull things over and loop them round and shit like that. That's that's the whole, that's literally every solution to these things, is loop the thing round another thing. And then this ball is like super important, and you got to get this to go under there or something, and, and then it's, it's really fun. So that's that one. This one is just called Yin and Yang. No idea. There are a fair few of these as well. I can't remember where I got them from. Probably Toys R Us. I tend to buy a lot of things in Toys R Us these days. If I visit any place with the Toys R Us, I will always go and buy it. Also, if I visit any place with the CEX, I will always go and buy all your PS2 games. Because it's the only place to buy bloody PS2 games. Get the cell tape off. Gently, gently, gently. It's quite a nice cell tape. Let's not rip the box yet. We will see. Riveting. Fuck, this is the fucking hardest bit of the puzzle. <laughs> Says the man who couldn't even touch the other puzzle. I look forward to all the smarts on the comments who are like, I sure you have to do is wrap rope one round. Fuck, that's nice. Rope one round rope two and bollocky, bollocky, bollocky. No, I hate things like this. Oh god, they're completely attached. They're like solid. Oh, no, there they go. Uh, you just gotta separate these off. How do we do this? They're completely attached. Apart from, oh, apart from there. Okay, what if we tuck that bit in there? Like that, and push through that. Is that? No, now they're, <laughs> now they're stuck in an even more complicated way. Oh, that was so nice. That's definitely changed their structure. Oh, interesting. Let's try and put that. I can put that back through there. That slips through there quite easily. If we get that leg over. Hmm. If we actually do it like it was and just push it through. And, there. and then push that through there. Like that. Yes! Ah, oh, fuck yeah! Ah, right. Scared of those? One, one all on the puzzles. Let's see if we can solve the smart egg. 
which is a... I don't know how you do this thing. How fast can you finish the labyrinth? I don't know. Let's read the back. Uh, insert the wand... Oh, there's the instructions. Insert the wand into the egg from the top. Move the wand through the labyrinth uh, using the available paths and holes available. Complete the labyrinth by pulling the wand out of the bottom. Okay. This is the smile egg. Oh, it's attached. Collect them all. No. Unless I have fun, in which case I will. <laughs> in which case you can't fucking stop me. I will fill my house with this shit so fast. Oh, pull that off. There we go. Right, so... It's got the egg. There we go. Still behind something. Is it? Yes. It's very... Ah, it was very invisible. It was very light. It was very spongy as well. So we need to stick the... Oh, it's double-sided. Okie dokie. So we've got to stick this in the top, did it say? Like that. And then we've got to move this... Out of the... Wait, hang on. What? Dude, it's got to stick this in the top. Is that it? And then we got to try and get it through. Oh, 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 that bit goes through there. And then that, oh, that can't go through there. So we pull that out and then through. And then out and then up there like, oh, oh, okay. So it's sort of, it's sort of, and now it's stuck inside the thing. And we have to get it to go through the bottom. So if we pull it out like that. Uh, well, that's it. That can't go that way. So how do we make that go that way? Oh, it needs to be up higher. So it needs to be, that's why our goal should be to get that over onto that side. Okay, now let's pull that back. Swap that back into that position and pull that through. Rotate that round. Down, up, through, down. No. <laughs> Actually, that should be how it was inserted in the first place. Is that, is that now done? Or is that stuck in the middle? Oh no, that's, that's stuck in the middle. We haven't, we haven't gone back to the beginning. We've not lost progress, we're still working on it. That comes through there, hey! So that was my adventure with puzzles. That was more expensive than the other ones, and that took the shortest amount of time. Yeah, that is a... Uh, that's alright, I suppose a tiny little gift, that is. It's a bit... That's a bit flimsy, I don't really feel like it was a... Doing a thing, you just gotta wiggle it around. This is the sort of puzzle you can sort of guess by just doing things and luck and all that sort of thing. This was a puzzle that's the same. And this is, um... I don't know, if you, we will solve all of our hacking problems if somehow we can make things like that are encryption, if we can encrypt them in this way, with string and ropes. Oh, how about put the ball under there, and then we're back to the fucking top. <laughs>